Hi guys, Steph here. Okay, now um, I've just bought myself a what they what they call these ring lights. So I'm using slightly different lighting today. So it'll be interesting to see what the result is like. So bear with me on this one. But for you regular viewers that watch my videos on a regular basis, in my last um, sort of house clearance pen haul. You would have seen this pen here. There you go, lovely pen again. Just a little bit tired. Just needs a little bit of attention. So what we'll do, we'll have a work on this pen and see how it turns out. And here's the pen in question. Once again, as you saw, came in this Parker, uh, Parker box. If we put the box to one side and show you the pen, look at that, hey, what a lovely, lovely pen. What we've got here is a Parker Vacuumatic Major and this is the standard size with, as we're showing a moment, with the blue diamond clip. Now, First of all, the Parker Vacuumatics came in many, many different colours, many, many different variants. So if I've got the model wrong, if it's, well, it may be just a Parker Vacuumatic standard, or as I said, it might be a Parker Vacuumatic Major, or it may be the Major standard size. So bear with me if I've got it wrong, or if any of you people out there know, give me Give me a comment down below and it'll help us all. But first, like I say, what we've got is a pack of Acumatic. Comes in this absolutely gorgeous um, golden, uh, golden brown pearl sort of laminated pattern in absolutely gorgeous condition, as you can see there. Now, let's take you to the barrel imprint, which is a little bit. Well, it's still sort of legible, I think, but let's see if we can actually show you. As I say, I'm using a little bit different lighting, so maybe clear, maybe not. But I think it's there somewhere, and it reads uh, Parker Vacuumatic. Well, it's got GOS Parker Vacuumatic, um, and then to the very right, Made in USA. And I don't know if you can actually see, it's got a date number to the very end and a little bit warm but I believe the date number is number three which is relating to this pen being from 1943 um, the size of the pen from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel is 130 millimeters capped um, around the barrel it's a nice 12 millimeters in diameter now first of all let's show you at the bottom here we've got this end cap here uh, you can see it's as I say earlier it's a vacuumatic and it's got the plastic the plastic plunger there so that's telling us it's the later version um, the later version this particular plastic plunger was introduced I believe around about 1942 um, so the date letter 1943 could well could well be correct let's take you up to the cap there you can see it's got this sort of chevron and diamond cap band there you can see this pattern on the cap band quite a quite a broad cap band very nice indeed and then we've got the very recognizable parker Parker clip and again we've got the sort of the earlier type version you can see it's got the Parker written down the center of the clip and then to the very top there you can see we've got the blue diamond so it's what we term as the blue blue diamond clip to the very top there we've got this slightly peaked sort of jewel black jewel to the very top but all in all an absolutely stunning pen now let's take the cap off let's show you the pen in numerous different angles 
looking okay. As I say, in lovely condition. Everything been, has been cleaned internally. And I'm hoping you can actually see. I don't know if we can give you sort of different angles. But what we'll do, let me just bring on my little sort of torch here. And let's see if we can show you. It's got a lovely... Oh, it's not making it very clear, but... Let's pop that to one side again. That was a waste of time. <laughs> but I'm hoping you can see it's got a lovely barrel clarity. Again, because I'm using this different lighting, I don't know. There we go. I think that's making a little bit of difference. You can see the clarity there, hopefully. In fact, if I actually put the paper behind it no that's not making a great deal of difference <laughs> well we're not having much luck on this video but there we go uh, take my words got a lovely clarity there and what I was hoping to show you is that if we press the the pump there to actually show you the pump inside inside here working so always very difficult if anybody knows a way of actually showing this clarity on video um, as I say there we go that's a little bit clearer there um, as I say I've just changed my lighting I'm just working with this one sort of ring light in front of me um, so yeah it's just a little bit of a learning curve Okay, so let's take you up to this section. You've got the very recognisable Parker, slightly concaved section there. And then the nib. Okay, what we've got for you is a Parker USA. And then to the bottom it's got a number 6. Okay, it's got a number 6. It's got the inlaid arrow, as you can see there. And then what it also has, but it's actually, I think, hidden inside, inside the section. It's got a letter R for Romeo. So this might actually be a replacement nib because the letter, sorry, the number six, I would say, indicates to 1946. Um, and again, the letter R may indicate that it's actually a replacement nib so maybe after somebody bought it they actually replaced the nib for something a little bit better for their liking there's the feed underneath you can see everything is lovely and clean as it should be and it's a lovely gorgeous handsome pen with my large hands lovely comfortable pen to actually hold now because we're going to be looking for a new home for this pen I'm not going to fill it because as I said I've cleaned it all internally it's got absolutely gorgeous uh, clarity to the to the barrel so I'm going to leave the filling to the new owner they can fill the pen which whichever sort of ink they would like well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a dip test, be interested to see how the pen writes. So what we've got is a, a Parker, Parker Vacumatic, uh, Major in the standard standard size um, as we said made in USA around about I believe to be around about 1943 and as we said it comes with a plastic uh, plunger which is a later version but the pen is writing very nicely indeed I don't expect any flex on this nib
very nice indeed there we go writing I would say with a fine line writing very nicely as as you would expect for a lovely pen like this so there we have it a lovely writer let's just clean the nib what we'll do we'll flush that nib out after the video and as we said we'll try and find a new home for it a stunning stunning pen so there we have it I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen as much as I enjoy showing them to you people uh, maybe comment if you feel the the lighting slightly different as I said earlier I've just bought myself a ring light I'm, gonna, I'm just trying to see you know if I can improve the quality of the videos so if you feel it's any different or you've got any advice please leave a comment below don't be shy um, subscribe to the channel as well don't be shy there as well I'm just going to say Slavo Kriini from this pen and from me I'm just going to say bye bye for now <laughs>